to you guys. Welcome to my family. <laughs> Hey there, welcome back to the Big Ski Family. We're, uh, we had a great week. It was an incredible week. And we just finished tennis lessons here, so we're a little hot and sweaty. We thought, hey, let's film a video. Sorry. So, no, not sorry. You can't smell it on that end, There's so no smell. It's we're all good. beauty here. Yeah. No, she just glistens. That's the way it works. Anyways, we, uh, interesting week. I ended up flying to Toronto on business, some business coaching for my 10X workshop with uh, Dan Sullivan who's been my coach for a long time, and I also get a coach with that organization, and so we actually had a design day where I got to meet with all the other coaches and work on the program, which is super, super fun for me. That was in Toronto, and then I, before I left, I dropped by Commerce Flowers. Good morning, so excited. I'm gonna bust down in here to City of Commerce Flowers. This place has a lot of meaning in my love story with Janice and our love story. When I was 21 years old, I was ski patrolman at Snow Summit. I was working right here in Southern California. I fell in love with Janice at first sight, literally, and then took some time to confirm it by going to the ranch where her family uh, ran a Christian camp and she was on staff. I watched her for a week, observed her working and serving and loving on others and giving and shared her testimony, did a concert. I was smitten. We literally had two uh, five minute conversations the entire week, I think, and it just locked me in forever. And so I'm back here working in LA, thinking of her, wondering what to do and I'm driving by this flower shop on my way to work and I said, you know what, I'm gonna send her flowers. So I whip it in here, City of Commerce flowers. I'm 21 years old, this is 1991, it's September, literally this week, first week of September. Her summer had just ended, she had been moved back to Atlanta, Georgia. And I, so I walked in here and I'm like, what kind of flowers do I get a girl that doesn't even know you really exist? Red roses are a little aggressive. Yellow seemed appropriate. So I sent her a dozen yellow roses. And as I'm sitting there talking to the lady inside the store, I'm like, um, what do you, she goes, what do you want to put on the card? And I'm like, I have no idea. What's appropriate to put on a card to, for a girl you're kind of stalking, you know? You're just chasing her down. She doesn't know a thing about you. Anyways, long and the short, I'm like, well, I'm going to tell her the truth. And I just put, can't get you out of my mind, Chad. That was it. I said, can't get you out of my mind, Chad wrote it on there, I walked out of the thing, as I'm driving away, I'm like, that was nuts. What am I doing? Why did I say that? What did, she's gonna think I'm a creepo. Anyways, long and story short, it all worked out in the end. So today I'm gonna go back in here to Commerce Flowers, 28 years later to the same week, and I'm gonna send flowers to our hotel in New York. What kind of flowers are I gonna send her? Come on. That's right, a dozen yellow roses. She's still my best friend in the entire world. And I want her to know that. And we're gonna have a wonderful time romancing our way through New York City this weekend. There we go. All right, we're going in. It's weird. It smells the same as it did 21 years ago. Looks the same. Hey, we're, have you been here for a long time? 42 years. 42 years. I wanna get this on film, but if you don't mind. I was in here 21 years ago. No, no, it's 28 years ago. You're right. In 1991. You got, we did your wedding? Well, you didn't do my wedding, but I sent yellow roses to my, uh, a girl I had a crush on. Oh, okay. Okay? Sent them all the way to Atlanta, Georgia, uh -huh. and you put them together for me. Yeah, a dozen yellow roses. I just liked her from a distance, you know? Oh, I see. But now, we're celebrating our 26th wedding anniversary. Oh, my goodness. Yes. And uh, we have 11 kids together. Oh, my goodness. And day. serious, the whole thing was, it worked out really well. So there we go. Got it. And the guy was good. He talked me into 26 yellow roses, which is a great idea. I mean, 26 instead of 12. How cool is that? One for each year of being friends. Should have been 28, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, 26 years of marriage. Very cool. Thank you, Commerce Flowers. We're going to show up at our hotel. We'll see what these dandies look like. All right. Super excited. Should see Jeannie's here any moment. I landed. She's been here for a while. There she is right there. She doesn't see me. She doesn't see me, but I see her. Hey, <laughs> sorry, I gotta get these shoes. Where did you get those? These are awesome. Uh, they have 85. Look at how sporty this girl is. She graduated oh, yeah. in 1985, so she's sporting the 85, 1985 shoes. What on earth? Those are high heel tennis shoes. They're cute. <laughs> oh, my word. 
We're gonna have a very useful weekend. So you got paper hangers. Yeah. I got paper hangers. Recycled like, maps. Did you see that? Yeah, recycled yeah. maps. So she says. Cool. I feel good about hanging clothes on those. <laughs> Look at that. Feel really good about that. Awesome. Okay, what you got there, honey? What are you wearing? I'm in New York. I've got my Jersey style robe on. Gonna go on down to the club. Some of the guys get some fisticuffs going. You know, I'm totally dialed for the area I'm in. Honey, in you're speaking in English. That's an English accent. <laughs> All right, just finished a good little workout, huh? Uh -huh. And uh, why are you working out when you're on vacation or you're on a few days? It makes me feel good. It makes you feel good. Yep. And it's a habit. It's a habit. It's part of That's our right. lifestyle. That's this, what you were looking no, for. No, it isn't. It I makes know. you feel good. It's a critical part of functioning. It's true. At high levels. And even though we're having fun and doing all these great things, yeah. you keep working out. Yes. It's just part of who you are. Yes. Oh, wait. Exactly. Get it right there. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> Janice, you're in there. Huh? Let's do it. Okay. Got my Tesla Model X, baby. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Okay. That was really convenient. We would have never made dinner. All right, you good? So and you didn't have to run through the rain. Yes. That's a pleasure. Okay, very good. Yeah. Right. All right, can you see what you got there? I have a chocolate souffle. Okay. I'm going to pour a little caramel sauce on top. Still can't get you out of my mind, Chad. Oh, Anyways, a very romantic yeah. meal. Beautiful flowers, garden atmosphere, and just wonderful. Fun so, evening. Fun evening. That was eat breakfast at oh, Sarah Beth's. Oh, did yes. Across the street from Central Park, and oh. We ate there three times. And ordered the same thing every time. Every day we ate breakfast Highly at the same place. That place. Sarah but, Beth's. Uh, yes. It's right down two like two places down from the Ritz Carlton, facing Central Park. Phenomenal. Uh, just cozy little restaurant. But New York is really interesting in that you never know what is going to be on the streets. And they she had, ran into Donald Trump. Yeah, John, saw Donald Trump. Please help. And then we saw a um, motorcycle parade. Like it was just hundreds and hundreds, and if hundreds. not over a thousand. I sat there for 15 minutes watching them. Just nonstop. Just roaring yeah. down. Yeah. And then there was a big a. Um, what is it? Union parade. Oh yeah. Know, oh so yeah. The unions were growing crazy. It was. They knocked, blocked <laughs> off the streets, and so we had fun just window shopping, and that was a great time. But that evening, we went and saw the piano guys. Yes. All right, Denise, we're here at the Beacon Theater in New York City. I'm Gonna so watch excited. what show, Denise? The piano guys. The piano guys. Whose idea was this? Yours. Hi. Yours. Well, I was thinking Portland, though. Not New York City. Hey, it's been on your wish list for a while to go see piano guys in concert live so here we are and uh, another little dream come true huh yes it's exciting all right Janice here we are in our seats this is amazing beautiful theater we are four seats from the front from the stage look at that stage. how fun is that this is stage. not too shabby huh oh. this is gonna be good so Thank you. 
was uh, exceeded my expectations. For it sure, was huh? Awesome. Phenomenal show. Yeah. If you have a chance to see the piano guys in concert, do it. Oh, yeah. Do it. Do it. If you're ever in New York City with the one you love and want to go to a romantic dinner, go to the River Cafe under the Brooklyn Bridge. And I mean it, it is just special. Make sure you get reservations in advance. Like because a week in advance. At least, or more. If it's gonna, if you want prime time, I mean, if you want anywhere near sunset, do it well over a month in advance. But it's a phenomenal romantic setting. It's perfect. I mean, it was a chant. Very. Lights, yeah. sparkling, beautiful <laughs> piano music, great food, great service, just the right amount of everything, perfect food, phenomenal. Yeah. Rich, rich, rich. Well, Janice, we're on our way back to uh, see the kiddos. Yes. So can't wait to see them, huh? Yeah. And I can't wait to see them. this is, uh, it's been a wonderful time. It's been awesome. A wonderful time here really in New York. Fun Just fun, fun times. And uh, special memories. Again, 26th anniversary. Can't wait to uh, see our, our bunch, though. Yeah. Coming your way, adventures. kiddos. Yes. yes. Heard you've had a wonderful time. See you soon. Heading to the airport. Bye bye. Well, while we were doing that, our kids went down to... Went down to visit my brother. Yes. Yeah, and his wife. Went to the mall and, um, we'll and we all to decided to match with black shorts on the bottom and white shirts on the top. And we just had a ball and... Um... We had a mall. Yeah. <laughs> we were all at a time with our cousins it's so fun to get together with like-minded girls and that share the same things mm -hmm. have the same beliefs and like we have a lot of common ground and so I had such a fun time and Kaylin Mandy and Becca I had a great time with you and thanks for having us to your house it's so fun we also went to Bates Nut Farm and Kayla one of our cousins is going to work there and Mandy works there too and so they showed us around where they're working and we had a great time there um so my favorite part was going to to the pool at their grandma's house and I met this nice girl named Ellie and then we played in the pool together. That's so fun. I just like going to the house because my best friend Danny's there. So it's always a good time. And we <laughs> ate raw Lost. eggs because we didn't have, we didn't know what to do. <laughs> so we decided to swallow They decided to come up with a man challenge. Like crack so. egg. Yeah. That's yeah. what we did. Barry, the first time Barrington tried it, it went launching like two or three feet. And then he went on and he's like, oh, I got to swallow it. So he goes back and he did it again. And he felt pretty impressed with himself. <laughs> and Danny oh, threw up. <laughs> Didn't work out that Overall, great. great experience. Go. Go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we got. <laughs> okay. So um, we. My favorite part was we went on a hike and four boys, and while we were going up, we caught a horny toad lizard, and um, uh, we saw my cousin's cave that he built when he was younger, and my brother. And then we saw this bobcat jump over a rock when we were there. And then it turned around and peeked his head out of a rock. And then, um... <laughs> I never knew bobcats peeked their head out of a rock. Behind the rock! <laughs> and, um, when I looked back, it was stalking me. And then, on our way down, we looked in it. we heard... <sighs> and so we looked in a ditch, and it was a ten-year-old rattlesnake. And we killed it and brought it home, and it was, like, up to my neck, shoulders. Wow. Oh, very nice. All right, I'll sum that up. So basically, 
No. The younger boys went on a hill. They found a horny toad. They got stopped <laughs> by a bobcat, and they killed a ten-year-old rattlesnake. That's what he was and trying to say. And scared Caroline. <laughs> and what? skin the tail. What, what happened? Feel? What happened with Caroline? Well, they know I don't do snakes, <laughs> and therefore, I walked up to the door expecting to come through a nice entryway and I saw this metal bowl that somebody was holding out part of the water. Thank you. I got my sage set. And I so, just saw a metal bowl and my oldest cousin was holding it. Walked through the door. All of a sudden he turns it and I see that it's a snake. So I like instantly freak out and jump back. And they check the snake at me. Fortunately, with the Jedi reflexes I have, I was able to avoid it and run away. And my <laughs> <laughs> Guys, y'all can join me. <laughs> we had a great time and we are so thankful for the David Johnson family for opening up their home and letting us stay there. Thanks. Well, Bye. found. Subscribe, like, give a thumbs up, like. Comment.